is very authentic. I think the thing that uh, that makes some people people great really is authenticity. Is he's not trying to set trends. He's not trying to impress anybody. He's just living his life authentically, expressing himself how he feel, and is at peace with who he is. As popular and as famous as he is, he's as modest, and I think that is it's, it's beautiful to see because he's done su supremely well and he's just kept on the same level. He is smart, he is kind, he is humble, he is creative, he is a genius. My name is Trevor Stierman and I'm a multimedia visual artist. I've been blessed with multi-collaborative skills. I'm first a photographer and a filmmaker. And within that, my foundation and focal point is fashion. This young creative, originally from Kimberley, has wowed the world with his nuanced photographic style, expanding into the multimedia space. I can never remember a time when art was not part of my life. As a young kid, I used to draw and I used to take art at school. And that allowed me to, to start my journey as an image maker. And with that, I've always been fascinated by pictures. And I remember even as as a toddler, I preferred to have coloring books as opposed to, to cars and different toys because I, I felt that coloring stimulated me far more. It got me to think and create these different worlds. In primary school, I, I was never the fastest kid or the smartest, but I was always the most creative and that always stood out for me and it made me feel um, some type of way, in a, in a very special way, because I knew that I, I had my own part. I think as a creative, it's, it's more about getting things done than perfection. I think if we just change our mindset to done is better than perfection, we'll achieve so much more. Because the more we pra practice, the more we become better. So it's a matter of always doing what you love and, and in that way you become better. For me, being behind the, the camera is quite a sacred and special place. It is a space between myself and, and opportunity and the future because I never know where the picture might land and the opportunities it might open, as well as the legacy it will leave. So it's quite a special place. It's an empowering position to be in. It's important for you to know your story in order to tell other people's stories. And I, I believe that it starts with you. You have to have a fixed and constant point of view. The way you see the world has to be so different and you have to, even in that difference, you have to be secure enough to know that it is your own point of view and to know that that is enough, you know? Everything, everything here is just insane. Magic, oh, thank like, you. Thank you. we're giving it to them. One pick at a time, <laughs> one pick at a time, darling. My first camera was actually my cell phone and I strongly believe that that's how I kind of built myself through using the little I have. Photography in its, the core of it is the study of light, but I think it's, it's the study of light coupled with the study of, of human emotions and, and stories. It's not necessarily about technical skill, but it's about the storytelling part of it. Because I think that that is the fun most fundamental point of photography. I'm 24, so I feel that everything is always exciting because it's always new. I'm always learning and I'll always be a student and everything always seems exciting because it it's always new. There's never ever a brief that I've, I've never done a brief twice. And, um, and because I'm a multidisciplinary um, artist, I, I get to kind of explore different creative mediums and, and, and therefore it, it, it's always so exciting and I enjoy it so much because 
I feel like I, I get to live different parts of myself on a daily. Oh, I like that. It's actually my first time working with Trevor. I've been dying to work with him for quite some time. Um, I've seen the work that he's done on some of our local stars, and I couldn't wait for an opportunity to just creatively go wild with him. And I think we've got some magic shots. I definitely love what I do because it's it is all I know. I wake up in the morning. I believe that I'm one with my work because for me, the notion of nine to five does not apply because I'm always switched on. I can't separate work from fun or work from pleasure because my work is pleasurable and it, it is something that I guess has defined me. I believe my point of difference is my multi-collaborative skills. In terms of like my working formula, it is always referencing home and that's always a selling point because locally, everyone wants to belong. Which is why home is the title of his ongoing exhibition. We don't spend a lot of time at home because of our dreams. And home then becomes this ultimate dream that that I guess I've been yearning for, and it's this feeling that I constantly wish and want to always be a part of. And, and just because I've grown so much, I left home at such a young age, all I have left is the memory and the feeling of home. But the place home is no longer the same because I've grown so much and the meaning of home is no longer the same. But it, it, is, it is a moment that you kind of hold on to and that is what I wanted to kind of express in the work, that feeling of oneness with home. Being African, that is my superpower and the world buys into that and and for me, I learn more about where I come from with every project. We always have to be mindful of cultural appropriation and being sensitive and authentic at, at the same time to, to, to kind of respect and know what to take and to leave sacred to a certain culture. If I were to describe my aesthetic online and in person, I'd say the one word would be Afrocentric um, and Afrofuturistic because my work is, it's an Africa reimagined and it is, in my world, Africa is not a third world country, you know, and colonization does not exist. Um, it's, it's just about everyone is a hero and everyone owns their narrative. Everyone has a name and a surname. Everyone is empowered. And, and that is the world that is quite idealistic, but it, it's realistic in my creative world. And it's about doing stuff that feels authentic. When brands come, it's about um, do we have shared values? At the same time, it's just fun. Like, it's not that serious at the back end. It's like, it's purely about just sharing and, and having fun. Because I think the minute we overthink it, it then feels like a job. With over 122,000 followers on Instagram, this was the medium that made the world sit up and take note. So I got Instagram quite late in terms of just the wave. It was such an exciting space for me because it was purely visual and it just allowed me to connect with um, like-minded people and to kind of build an aesthetic. And I think it was the foundation, it was just a matter of like starting. The end goal was not to have like 100,000 followers and a blue tick, but it was just about sharing a world that I, I see and I create and I consume. Instagram has been the most 
I guess, powerful and the most impactful tool that I've had in terms of just my brand building and my online success. It came with many opportunities as well because certain brands would then be attracted to, to a certain style and I'd invest more time. I met Tebe for the first time at Victor Verster, um, just outside Park, and it was actually through Terry. I saw this young man taking pictures of Terry Petto, and I called him and said, who are you? Why are you following this, uh, this beautiful South African icon? He says, oh, I'm Trevor Stearman. I said, oh, where are you from? He says, Kimberly. I'm like, my goodness, we're both from Kimberley. Tebe's greatest influence has been refining my brand, and she's like, one of the greatest brand architects. He's like a mentor that I have without, we never, I never had to like apply to be like, ah, oh, can you please be my mentor? And like, it just happened so organically. Having uh, somebody that you can reference in life is always important because it's an anchor from which you can see where you need to pivot, but it's also a star to which, to which, towards which you can reach, uh, and sometimes also uh, uh, exceed as 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 he has in, in in many ways. For me, as a a multimedia visual artist, and having that understanding, it it always just advances my work, and it it. It just polishes everything. Uh, observing him over the years, uh, I said to him, you know what, Trevor, you're not a photographer. Photography is just your anchor. But what you are, you're really a visual artist. Because his great talent is, uh, is his great eye. To be able to see beyond, uh, or rather uses the camera lens to see, not necessarily to capture. It is, it is those small lessons that have really, really changed um, the way that I operate and the way I, I see myself and where I stand in the world. Find your lane and stay in your lane and be the very best in your lane. Don't try to be everything to everybody. Try to be everything to Trevor Stirma or one thing to everybody. With the different adventures that he goes on, it it's so inspiring and he challenged me to skydive and I was fearful of heights and it's something that I I did. Part of how I express myself is to challenge myself to do daring things, whether it's climbing the highest mountain in Europe or whether it's climbing the highest mountain in Africa, whether it's walking 117 kilometer in Lesotho on the trek that Mushasha took. Those are the things that I do. It just reminded me of this philosophy that for as long as I spread my wings, the wind will carry me and um, to doubt less. And I think it, it's, those are the greatest lessons that I've learned from him. I've always worn hats and with hats, I guess they, they create a signature silhouette for me and they, they've kind of made it iconic because a lot of times when I do like different interviews and just the way that, that people would describe me would always be with a hat. And it has always anchored me and it, it, it kind of creates an iconic um, signature. The fez, um, it's quite a democratic um, silhouette and it's a hat that is celebrated uh, across the world by different cultures. people would wear a hat like this to a wedding, like within a South African context. A lot of my friends, whenever they go to a traditional wedding, they'd be like, oh, can I borrow your hat? But like now it has become like an everyday hat, which is quite beautiful to see because I wear it on a daily and it, it has become like a signature silhouette for myself. People kind of expect me to have hats in my boots because they'd be like, oh, when do I get one? Where can I get one? Even though you kind of share. And it also teaches you that you, you're always on the job. So remember like this shot to have different models in like this kind of stance and building that kind of furniture that would kind of match the, 
scenarios have been like a room like this, but the, the only yeah. solid color would be the fez. I've known Trevor now for the last four years since the brand started. We've I used to sponsor him with hats, um, and then he took over our social media, so he used to come here quite a lot. And one day he was here and he saw the fez hat sitting in the corner of my office. I made a sample maybe two years ago, three years ago. I tried it on, I looked absolutely terrible. He tried it on, I was like, your bra, that looks amazing. And he wore it around for a bit, and then eventually we just decided, let's let's do this. Let's make them, let you can shoot them, and let's get them out to the world. The response to the hats has been amazing. I think it's trended worldwide as well. Uh, the Fed's not from us, so I think before it was trending anyway. So it has already got a global recognition, that, that specific style. Um, and just locally, the way Trevor's marketed it, the way he shot it, the actual campaign, was just all done beautifully. Um, and I think we, we, we're very happy with the response. My partnership with Absolute and One Source Live is, is exactly that. It is a project that is a legacy project that, that really instills values of cultural preservation and just, just championing Africa. Africa on Fire is um, a pan-African collaborative film. It brings together different creative revolutionaries. We exist in a world where creativity is our weapon and um, we kind of free ourselves by using creativity. And just working with different, with different artists from around the continent was such a great and empowering position. Whatever's created in Africa is always considered art and craft, and anything else created elsewhere is considered design. So, with one source, what we're trying to do is to really, really um, disrupt that notion and change that mindset, and to be able to help others understand that um, there's value in our art, there's value in our stories, and there's a bigger message to tell. So we're here at Fashion Capital at Authentic 31, where my debut capsule collection is currently in production. With every single opportunity I get, I try and elevate those that are around me and within my circle. Are you ready to see what we've done for you? Can't wait to see. This is the first piece, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's look number six, but that's a Look number piece. six, but like, yeah, yes. first piece, yeah. Um, I think as a creative, it's, it's more about getting things done than perfection. Ta-da! Oh, wow. It's getting there. No, it's pretty much there. At the bottom, because it's not long enough, we added... Oh, just that... Of, but we try to maintain... To extend... ...the sequence of the... The aircraft. Yes, the aircrafts. Okay. We do design, but it's from a different kind of... It's a different kind of process. We're always kind of in sync. And our design process is through various mood boards and just customizing existing pieces. Um, so this is for the a fashion show, but it's gonna be, we won't have like a conventional runway, we'll have an installation. And the looks will live in different spaces as well within the festival. So it will be distributed throughout the festival. <laughs> It's 
So we are a day away from One Source Live and we are busy curating the stage now, just um, blocking off, having rehearsals, and I'm about to go and start setting up for my installation space where I'll be shooting portraits and yeah, exciting times ahead. What do you think? It's one of my favorites actually. I like love the simplicity it. of it. And the, just the classic touch. It's, it's beautiful. Okay. The look would be typically described as Eurocentric, just in terms of like the Victorian silhouette. However, we've revisited the concept and like in terms of accessories, we'll be bringing it back home. The definition of creativity is creative problem solving. So as a creative, your mandate is to solve problems through making things look beautiful, pleasing, motivating, inspiring. And I think it always brings you a step closer to a better version of you. We don't have enough stands, though. That's just one. There's nothing on our Dutch work. I, I, we just get each other. And I think also, I think the glory in it is that we're so different, we're like far apart, we're like worlds apart. Uh, but when it comes together, it's like a very healthy mix and it's, you know, something fresh and, you know, and you, we're always challenging each other, which is always amazing. He has such a refined eye and such a, such a clear point of view and I, I really admire that. It makes it so easy to work with someone that knows what they want. So Trevor's going to be exhibiting some of his work on this projector, um, so people can sit here and watch. And also the way we've set up the, the aisles, it mimics like an airplane. Well, I guess what sets us apart as Africans is that it's very raw. Some might argue that it's unrefined, but it's like this rawness and the honesty behind it. Now the theme continues, or rather the exhibition, it's a never-ending exhibition and a never-ending exploration of understanding and coming to home. I believe that opportunity dances with those that are on the dance floor. And it is important to always be present. Be present for yourself, for your dreams, and for where you want to go. One Source Festival is a multimedia festival, so you can expect fashion, film, art. It's just a, a kaleidoscope of different mediums coming into one. Today is just an opportunity to share my labor of love and to just kind of give the attenders and my audience a chance to see me working live in action and for them to experience creativity happening at its peak and just cross collaboration amongst different creatives from different um, corners of the continent. So maybe we can start with Trevor. What's next for Trevor Steeman? I never know where I'm going, but I've rather trained myself to fall in love with not knowing what's next. But it's always a higher level and a higher understanding of myself. And it's, it's always another challenge and always onwards and upwards.